obviously really thrilled that we're uh, going back to Frisco. Guys that earned the right uh, with uh, tonight's win. Uh, jumped on them fast, and it was something we talked about uh, all week. These guys had done a Sam Houston done a really good job of jumping on people early in the playoffs, and, and for us, uh, we had to flip the script on them a little bit and uh, be able to jump on them early. And, uh, and it was going to start with physical play. That was something that uh, we really felt we had a big advantage uh, in the trenches, uh, both sides of the football. And um, obviously, they did a nice job with the first drive. But even though they only they only got three, and I thought that was a real win for us, simply because we were just figuring out learning the speed of the game and to hold them to three was big. And then uh, once I saw what they were doing defensively and talking to mess and the offensive staff, I thought we were going to have a pretty good day because they weren't uh, adjusting to some things that uh, um, we th were wondering if they were going to adjust to and they didn't. And uh, we were able to gash them uh, for a number of big plays. And that was the whole key is uh, explosive plays. When you get into these type of games, you have to make the explosive play. And um, for us, we made the, a bunch of explosive plays. We gave up a few to a really good offense. But uh, I'm a firm believer if, if you're kicking field goals, you're not beating many people. You've got to be able to score touchdowns in the red zone. And so uh, extremely proud and extremely happy for those guys that uh, get an opportunity to play uh, in Frisco for a national championship. And uh, they've earned the right. So hope. the one thing that Marquise, and that's part of the reason we moved him from offense to defense, is he has unbelievable ball skills. And in a game like this, there was going to be a lot of 50-50 balls. And uh, he had to be able to make some plays. And he has great leaping ability. And he has good hand-eye coordination. And those were the first one, obviously, was really Really big because uh, uh, got us the momentum and get the ball in short field for us. And he just he's a competitor, and that's what I really appreciate about Marquise and Josh Hayes. Had we played you know our backup corners the entire game, and um, you know they Josh had uh, some tough plays, but he played and, and competed, and I was really impressed with him. The guy that I'm I'm happy for all of them, but the guy that deserves to play in a national championship game is Easton Stick. He deserves that after what he did in 2015 to get uh, uh, his best friend Carson back to that game, and he deserves that opportunity. And he's played great football um, nearly every week this year, and he came back from the one adverse game that he had and just has lit it up ever since. And he's playing with great confidence, but doesn't surprise me just in how he prepares himself every week. We have really good team speed, and uh, we are relentless to the football, and we don't give up. And they made some plays. Really good offense is going to make some plays. But if you just have that will of saying, "I'm not going to, I'm not going to, we're going to bend, but we're not going to break," um, we figured the field would shorten up, and we'd make some plays, and we sure did make some plays. And uh, we're rotating a lot of defensive linemen in, and we're getting some hits on the guy, and and we were driving and breaking on balls and uh we're you know it became they were gonna throw it every snap you know that was the bottom line they were gonna have to throw it every snap and you know i think they threw it 50 52 times and so offensively we were just gonna keep, keep putting the hammer down and keep foot on the gas yeah great job by the old line and, and the tight ends and, and fullbacks they did a great job and uh opened up holes and played the game the way we talked about playing it all all day today, which was uh, with a chip on your shoulder and with a mentality that uh, we're going to run, we're going to control the line of scrimmage. And we talked if we controlled the line of scrimmage, we'd control the football game. No, I'm going to enjoy tonight and uh, let the guys have a good time. Uh, and we're going to take a couple days off, and we'll come back to work on Monday and um, do a little bit of prep. But uh, we're going back to Frisco, and and uh, it, it's really hard to get there. I know a lot of people think it's easy. Uh, now I can go back to the grocery store and people can, I can tell people, yeah, you bought those tickets in July, you can use them now. So I've had enough people ask me that they've bought those in July and this year they're going to be able to use them. So um, I, I'm really thrilled. It's really hard to do what we've done uh, and to do it how we've done it these last three weeks. I mean, those were three dominating performances, uh, both sides of the ball. And uh, uh, that's, that's fun when your guys are executing at such a high level.